Hello everyone, Cosmic Wolfsy here, and today, as the title suggests, I'm going to try my hand at making a paper fursuit. If you don't know who I am, I am a fursuit maker, I've been making fursuits for two years, and I am the owner of Hybrid Hexes Fursuit Studio, a very small fursuit maker in comparison to most. So I hope this video isn't like offensive to people who have or who have made paper fursuits. My opinion on them in general is that if you need them to feel like you're more part of the fandom, go ahead. I I mean, I kind of made one when I was younger and I look back on that and go, oh my god. Like I've deleted all my content about it. Like in, in my experience, it's just been nothing but cringe. I don't like using that word. I don't like cringe culture or anything like that. But like, it's a physical reaction that I like, oh, when I think about it or I've seen pictures of it. So, like, personally, I just think it's really, like, <laughs> really, like, funny looking. I mean, uh, I've seen it done good in a couple ways with geometric paper fursuits, and that's not what I'm judging at all. There are now uh, free templates, I think. There's somebody who makes free templates for paper fursuits online, so if you feel like you'd like something that looks a little bit better than just a piece of paper wrapped around your face, uh, with paper snout and ears. Maybe you try looking for those. I'm pretty sure they're free. I'm not sure if they're the charge, but there are really good ways of making pretty cheap, like, animal masks. So at the end of the video, I'm going to make a s some small announcements about some things I have planned and some past projects that I'm going to elaborate on. Without further ado, let's get started. So I have construction paper. I didn't want to just use plain paper and color it in. Um, so I've got like this blue, a purple, and a green. We'll see what I make with that. I got some crayons, some tape, and a hot glue gun. I don't know if I'm using the hot glue gun because I just know that a lot of paper first it's made with tape, so we're probably going to go with that. Alright, so I'm going to assume the first step is to like cut this to my face, like make it so it's going wrap around my face. So I think the base color is going to be the green because I love the color green. This is about the length of my face. So I think we're just going to need two to have a back of the head. Hopefully this is big enough. Uh, this is not going to look very impressive. I got glue on the other paper. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well we've got this. This is still hot, so I'm going to give it a minute. I didn't even glue it straight. It's okay. Mm, all right. Oh, and I guess I'd want it like this. Oh. Oh man, it almost wraps fully around. I'm... I'm gonna glue this down. I burnt myself. Okay. We now have a cylinder. Oh, I did this backwards. The, the green is on the inside. I'm stupid. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna... I'll make it tight while I destroy this. Okay, so I made it a little bit tighter. So now the green is on the outside, and I could put it on my face, hopefully, maybe. So now I'm gonna mark where my mouth and my nose goes. So I'm gonna take... I'm gonna use a marker. I have these crayons here just for like an extra, you know, like haha, paper fursuit that only children do that. <laughs> Cause I'm better than you. I'm an elitist fursuiter. <laughs> no, um, but I don't think it'll show up if I just use the crayon. So I'm gonna put this on my face and I'm gonna mark where my mouth and my eyes are. That's for my. <laughs> now I'm gonna cut that out. What am I doing? I don't know. I don't know how big I'm supposed to cut out the mouth hole because, like, when I make regular like foam fur suits, I make it like really big because I know I can put the muzzle over it. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Like. This is actually difficult because I don't, because this paper isn't very stable. Construction paper is a little bit more stable than like printer paper. But like compared to foam, like I can't glue it on and hope it stays in. It's not very thick and I can't like layer it a thousand times. Okay. 
Okay, so here's what we have. And it's going to make it look very uneven, but that's the price I pay. Okay. So do I just make it like round? Every time I've seen a paper fursuit, they've got like round muzzles. So I think I'm going to make it round. Wait, I think I've got an idea. Let's see if this works. Just gluing it because I have, I'm old enough to use hot glue. Even though I don't really look like it sometimes. I look like I'm god dang 12. I've got a circle. Okay, so now I think my idea is to like make it into a cone, like a taco shape for the top of the muzzle. I'm trying like really hard to make this look good. I want to like, I want hope that like paper fursuits can like, I want to like lead the revolution into paper fursuits, bro. Okay, so here's my muzzle. That's pretty epic if you ask me. I think I'm putting like too much regular fursuit building um, into paper fursuit building because this probably is going to look way worse than like most people's paper fursuits. Okay, here is our paper notes. Sorry if that was an awkward jump cut, I just had to go do dishes. So now we're going to glue this nose on. This is beautiful. I'm gonna put some like muzzle dots on it because that's like my signature. Muzzle dots. Yes. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I think that looks like good. I'm just like squishing my, my fursuit hair here. Okay. Or my paper head suit. I didn't. Mm. This is the muzzle of our fursuit. <laughs> Okay, so now the bottom of the mouth can't be the same color because I used all of the green we had. This is gonna rock. Like, this is gonna look good. All you people, all you like furry cringe accounts, like not even like the people who hate furries, but like the people who are furries and then hate on other people's fursuits. Fuck you, man. Like, I'm making a gorgeous paper fursuit right now. Especially if their paper fursuit looks as good as mine. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, and I just made the bottom jaw. Laugh at me all you want, haters, but like, my paper fursuit is gorgeous. Hey, this is our tongue and the inside of our mouth. I think this is perfect. The snout is way too big. <laughs> I couldn't have made it any smaller though because I'm using scraps. Does it, is it like, or can I like make this part of the paper fursuit aesthetic where the snouts are like 10 times bigger than the bottom jaw? Because I don't know about you, but that's pretty epic. Why am I doing this? I'm just making fun of children who idolize fursuiters want to be like them but don't have the money or the resources or their parents judge them and that's really sad like i'm making fun of that right now and i don't care because i'm making a bomb ass paper fursuit and no one can stop me quote me and if this is part of next week's furry twitter drama i it will be an honor Okay, so here is our fursuit teeth. I think that's awesome. And I like if the muzzles go or the bottom jaw is going like up a little, but that's just because I'm like folding it. It'll look better later. But like here's our side view. Okay, so now the part that I'm excited about, because I thought I had a good idea for this, is the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Because I think I have a great idea, and anybody who's wanting to make a paper fursuit should follow me on this, because I've never seen it be done. And I think it will improve your suit a lot. These look like like actual fursuit eyes right now. Like we we we're doing good. I say we, but this is mine. I'm the artistic genius behind this. 
Um, I'm doing this alone in my room at 7 p.m. Um, when I could be doing homework. I've got 100 pages in my book to read by tomorrow morning. Um, mm -hmm. I just don't care. I just don't care. Ow, my fingies. Burning my fingers. Ha 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 ha. I love it. Hee hee hee. I am wasting so much hot glue right now. Okay, so the last thing to do is to actually put these eyes on. And can I just show you, like, those look like actual fursuit eyes and I just made them out of paper. Like, I can't put these on, like, an actual fursuit because obviously, like, these eye holes and, like, there's crayon on the side of the white. And these would crumble if I ever wanted to wash a fursuit that was made out of foam, but the eyes are made of paper, so, like, I, like, but these are nice shapes. And if you are going for, like, a one-time use suit, eyes like this would look great instead of just coloring them and making, like, little eye holes, at least. You got a bit more of, like, a mask going on um, to hide your true furry trash self i'll um, put it on right now and show you guys what i have so far but we're far from done so this is what i have so far i think i look pretty awesome i'm not gonna lie like i'm actually living for this right now this has made me gain an appreciation 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 for the paper fursuit community even though every time i turn my head all i can hear is i still appreciate this more than i did before that's for sure but it's like almost moving jaw like okay so our last steps are to make the ears and the hair i'm definitely putting hair in it i think that's it this video is already probably pretty long, like I've been recording for half an hour and I'm probably gonna record for another 20 minutes for these ears and hair, so we'll see. But I think that's all we're gonna do and we're gonna see how this turns out. And because I am emo, they are going to have stretchers <laughs> because I have stretchers and this is my paper fursuit head for Sona, goddammit. I want him to be just like me, but better. Like, I just fucking broke the crayon. <laughs> I need to calm down. This says a lot about my artistic integrity. <laughs> Here are the, my fursuit ears. They're, they're nice. Like, I did it in the front. So the back of them have the patterns, but I put like purple crayon in the front. I don't really have like a top of the head and I don't want to make one because taping cylinders is hard so i think i'm going to just glue them to the front of the head that sounds like oh wait or i could like put slits and do it that way i think it'll look better if i just glue them to the front of the head i think that's what i'm gonna what Okay, so my ears are glued on and ready. Like, oh my god, this is adorable. <laughs> like, I love this. I legitimately love this, like, a lot. Okay, the hair is going... Okay, so next and last is the hair, which is going to be purple. All right, so here's, like, my hair. I think that looks pretty dope, and I think the white is good because it kind of looks like frosted tips or something. So I don't even know how I'm going to put this on because, like, I didn't make a top of the head. Um, I don't think it's going to stick, though. But I have no faith. Okay, so here's kind of, like, what I'm doing right now. I just put glue on, like, I just put glue on, like, both sides of the hair where I put a slit in it so that I would stay up. Hey! I mean, like, it's going to fold in, but that's good. Now it's removable because I can just like pull this up. It might rip the paper a little, but if I get bored of this hairstyle or color, I can just take it off. That's pretty epic. Okay guys, so here's the finishing reveal of my paper fursuit head.
Okay guys, so here's the reveal of my finished paper first you did. Um, I like it. Um, I don't know how I could like make it more round over here. Um, just because it just looks so flat. Um, other than that, I think the eyes and the ears went perfectly and so did the hair. Uh, the colors are good, but that's not really like says anything about my craftsmanship. Uh, the bottom jaw looks really good too, and the tongue. I don't think I can pull that down or else it's going to break. I definitely made the snout too big, so when making your paper fursuit, make sure that uh, you make your snout shorter. Or you measure your bottom, but I think this would look better if it was just shorter. Um, the vision and ventilation are fantastic, the best I have ever seen in a fursuit. Alright, so I hope you liked my fursuit, paper fursuit head building video, whatever this was. Uh, don't cancel me on Twitter, whatever you do, or do, because if you cancel me, someone else might uncancel me and find my content, so. Uh, but here are some quick updates. Uh, number one is that I am taking down my fursuit tutorial series, but don't fret because I'm going to be redoing it with a different style. So I was looking at my suits and I was thinking, I don't like this, this, and that, I'm gonna change it. And I thought that building a suit in an old style that wasn't as good wasn't really fair. So once I master this new style I'm coming up with, I'll be redoing that tutorial, which should be soon. I'm hoping that I start it before the new year. Uh, what's gonna happen with the old base is I'm giving it away to a local, very beginner fursuit maker uh, who doesn't really have access to foam, but they do have access to fur. So I'm just gonna be giving it to them for free. Secondly, uh, this the fursuit and the top rack there that I'm pointing at, uh, that commission is almost done. I just need to finish the other paw that's hanging there. Uh, that's covering the rest of the face. I just need to finish the second paw and it's off and shipped and that means that I'll be open for commissions once again. If you want updates on that, um, just follow me at hybrid, hex hybrid underscore hexes on Instagram to notify when I'll be open for commissions. However, I'll probably be doing a two or three pre-mades just to get this new style that I have down before I take more commissions. So hopefully I'll open for commissions like November ish for custom commissions for suit building. I think that's all I have for today in regards to news. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this video wasn't too long. Uh, I really liked it. I think it came out way better than I was expecting it to. Uh, if you own a paper for suit, anybody who tells you that to just buy a real one, uh, tell them to go away. I, I would swear, but I don't want to keep swearing. I feel like I've said way, sweared way, swore way too much in this video. But honestly, it's you expressing your creative freedom. Should I make like a furry pun to end all my videos with?